Hi, I'm Leah, and welcome to The Daily Dose. Today we thought we'd take a moment to reach out to those budding young scientists out there to let them know what working in conservation science is really all about. And maybe we can actually inspire you to consider a career you hadn't thought of. So let's hear from some of my colleagues about what it's like to work on these critical conservation projects here at the Calgary Zoo. Most of my job is studying northern leopard frogs, which are a species at risk in Canada and are threatened in Alberta. I spend usually about three to four months of the year out in the field, um, which is great, you know, especially because it's usually in the summer, so the weather tends to be a bit better. And then once, you know, winter starts to roll around, I spend a lot of time in the office where I'm analyzing data and writing papers and, um, you know, working on various projects. If you want a, a, a job as a conservation biologist, really you need to get the field work experience. I think that's so critical. When you're looking at summer jobs, you know, maybe see if you can work as a field assistant for uh, another researcher, uh, particularly another uh, graduate student, something like that. My role is to assist the entire team with their work and their scientific writing. I get to learn about so many things that I never necessarily interact with personally. So I get to know about species and about places that I have no direct involvement with. Um, and it's exciting. It's, it's a big adventure, really. Science will only move forward if we collaborate extensively. Calgary Zoo always works with partners when we are abroad. Um, we cannot do it on our own. We work with other organiz conservation organizations that are based in country and we work with the local communities. Um, in everything else that I do, uh, doing science, I tend to work a lot with um, scientists at different universities. Uh, we as a team work with Parks Canada, with different government agencies. Any one scientist is fundamentally a specialist in a fairly narrow area. And to get at bigger picture questions and solutions, we need to combine different angles of expertise. And I think even when it's not a matter of expertise, but a matter of perspective, collaboration is hugely important because every every single person thinks about the same problem in a different way and to work together just means we are more efficient at finding solutions. Well my job is to look at reintroductions for endangered species and so we're basically looking at the science behind reintroductions and so learning about what species need in order to survive in the wild and given certain threats or circumstances for each of those species, a reintroduction will be very different. So kind of learning all those various aspects and then applying it in the wild. All throughout high school and university, I really focused on biology and science programs. I did a zoology program for my undergrad. And then I did a master's of uh, ecology and conservation. But I think really what helped with my career is uh, volunteering. So here at the zoo I started volunteering about 10 years ago with the Conservation Research Department. So I work with our partners in international conservation and I live and work abroad. I have been working for the Calgary Zoo in that capacity for about 15 years now and I do capacity building training with young scientists in the countries that I live. So for me, um, I have a very big desire to give back to the world. And I would like to contribute to the protection of wild species and wild spaces. And where I live, those issues are quite urgent and people are living uh, with the need for natural resources on a daily basis. And um, so they're encroaching on those habitats and the human population keeps growing and uh, so the, the areas are getting smaller and smaller. And where I live, working with local people, local scientists, young scientists, and working with communities to see the best way that they can protect their natural resources, um, it, it feels like I'm able to make a, a, a very strong contribution to that. Of course, you need to get some education behind you and sometimes it's good to travel. If you want to do what I'm doing, you need to get out in the field and see how you feel, how you respond, how your body responds to different uh, types of environments, different temperatures. How do you cope with different types of food? How do you cope when you don't understand what anybody's saying? Do you feel very lonely? Do you get homesick? So trying to do some traveling in uh, fits and starts, short ones and then maybe longer, and certainly volunteering. 
So thank you for joining us, young scientists, and I hope you stay passionate about protecting wildlife and its habitat. Thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.